What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean, I am a trainer at a truck driving company here. And today's video, I'm doing orientation and I'm gonna to talk to you about miles per gallon and how you can save and, and do better on your idle time and your MPG. So make sure you stick to this video all the way to the end. I'm gonna to try to teach you something CDL school will not teach you. But first off, let me let you know that Trucking Life with Sean is now sponsored by Connect Now. Connect Now makes Bluetooth headsets for truck drivers. They make everything you need, nothing that you don't. So make sure you go to the link. If you're looking for a good headset, you can get it for the right price at the right place. Now let's get into today's video. We're gonna talk about right now is uh, miles per gallon. We have a uh, bonus here at YouTube, or not YouTube. <laughs> we have bonus here at Rosedale Transport where you get uh, an extra cent per mile. Actually, get two cents on our safety bonus, but one part of that bonus is a penny per mile is on your miles per gallon, uh, and also on your idle time. So the better you get it, the better miles per gallon you get, the better you are. It helps us save money. Uh, with that, the company can give raises and do a lot of things. We've lost a lot of money on this area that we're working on. So we're, we're monitoring that. So a few things that we can do to get better MPGs, what I want to go over with y'all, is really, uh, I call it driving smooth, being a smooth operator. Not putting your foot on the accelerator constantly. Not uh, You want to do a steady speed. Uh, and that's a better safe driving anyway. You don't want to be slamming on the brakes. And with uh, being a you know a steady driver, a smooth driver, you don't want to be jerking on the steering wheel and all that stuff anyway. But far as your your miles per gallon, if you run that cruise control, it works. It works. It works good. And most of these internationals have the cruise control. It's adaptive cruise control. So if somebody's in front of you and it starts slowing down, uh, it can be annoying, but it can save your life. Um, I didn't like it to start with because if somebody in front of me is going 50, then I'm going to slow down to 50. And then I'm not paying attention. I realize it. I'm like, ah, then I go on around them. But if not, it, it, you, it won't let you get close to nobody, which is a good thing. Um, we had a driver who was in it and was used to it. And then he left, went into a Peterbilt, didn't have it. He was zoned out. He's going, you know, 70 miles an hour. And he, there was a truck in front of him going about 50. And he missed them barely. But he clipped them. But he ran across the median, messed his back up, and got hurt. But he was used to that that automatic. That would have saved him that night if he'd had that. So use the cruise control. Cruise control will help with your miles per gallon. Also, believe it or not, your tire pressure. Uh, if you're running tire pressure low on trailers and stuff like that, it will also mess your fuel mileage up. Uh, regular maintenance, making sure your truck's maintained. Again, that should be on us at Rosedale. But if you see an issue or a problem is not running right, got a check engine light on, these things let the shop know, and it will help with your miles per gallon. As far as your idling, the best thing you can do is when you go into a truck stop, just turn it off. Don't leave it running. A lot of drivers are just, ah, I'll leave it running. They see they got an extra key. You know, so they're just leave, leave it running. Uh, they come up on the yard. I, I see drivers all the time out here on the yard and their truck's running. I'm like, well, yay, hey, turn everything off, man. You just got a truck. All that, it, believe it or not, it costs, it costs money. You know, when we're burning fuel, and fuel's not cheap. And right now, we're in one of the, the worst trucking recessions. That's for everybody. All trucking companies right now. It's, it's, a, it's not a great economy. Uh, it, hopefully, it's going to change. But we need to find areas that we can work on to make it better so that way we can, you know, keep our doors open. And that one thing is going to be is going to be your idle and your miles per gallon. So be mindful of that when you're out there. Turn your truck off. Uh, we either have an AP or an EPU. I want to show you how to use it. So when you stop at night, you'll turn the EPU on. All your power outlets will work. Your AC will work. Your heat will work. It's just truck's not running. When the batteries get low in the truck, the truck will, the truck will start back up. It'll charge your batteries up, and it'll go back off. Um, I used to have Freightliner that did that, too, when I worked at Heartland. But um, uh, they work good. Now, we're definitely not telling you to freeze. So if you're down there in, in, in Florida or out in Texas or in Louisiana, and it's 110 degrees, and that EPU's not keeping up with it, different story. I'm not saying burn up. I'm not saying to be out in Colorado. And uh, last year I was in Colorado and it got below zero and my EPU would not keep up. I had to idle the truck. So in certain cases you got to idle it. But when you don't have to idle it and it's keeping up with it, shut those curtains, man, it gets cold. And if it's not working properly, get with the shop and they'll help you with that. But it's important that we work on this. And that's something I've got to work on as a, a, the whole of the company. I've got, a, I've got some drivers I got to call that are just don't know how to use it. I was looking at some ports today and they've they're running like 60, 70% idle time. Our idle time should be at 15%. Uh, but they're running high, and they've been high ever since. So either that truck don't have an EPU or they don't know how to use it. So I look, and a couple of them do have an EPU. So that's telling me they just don't know how to use it. They don't give a dang. So they're going to start monitoring that. So use your EPU. 
do the right thing, and that'll help us in the long run. It'll help us save money, and that way we can get raises and we can get new trucks. And you know, we it's a company. We got to make money, and that's one thing y'all can control out there on the road. There's dispatchers need to control on getting y'all's miles, and there's things that they can control. But one thing y'all can control is the EPU and the APU on that. So uh, just remember, mindful that that's important. And I wanted to go over that with you. But after that being said, it's uh, time for lunch. So let's go to lunch. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. If you got any value from that, go ahead and give me that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. I put out videos every day trying to teach you something the CDL School won't teach you. Thanks for watching.